isometric projection isometric projection of prostomape cone it is having inside that is top face as 40 mm diameter bottom face is having a 60 mm diameter and height is 60 mm first we have to draw a horizontal line so first we have to draw a horizontal line then mark a point on the horizontal line and you have to take 30 degree on either side of the horizontal line and extend these lines and then the first diameter is 60 bottom face that 60 is converted into 48.98 this is 49 so we have to consider it as diameter that is 48.98 so that 48.98 we have to take from the divider exactly 49 you can take on either side because no need of box anything it's a circle on both the side you will get the same They join all the points. We'll consider it as ABCD. Now, forty-eight point nine eight we got. So divided by two, twenty-four point four nine. In between twenty-four and twenty-five, have to take from this point cut on either side from this point also have to cut either side then join A to these points thin line you have to join don't make these lines dark they are just a construction lines And then from divider keep at a point and take this distance and draw the arc the same way by keeping at c point draw the arc then consider it as c1 c2 
c3 c4 now from c3 and c4 you have to draw the arc then by c3 draw the arc now bottom circle we have drawn now take the center center will be obtained by joining this c3 and c4 if you take if you join this c3 and c4 will get directly the center and then the c1 and c2 so this is the center from this point the height is 60 mm the height will be converted so we will get 49 so we got height now at the top it is having 40 millimeter for that we have to transfer this horizontal line at the top at a distance of 49 so just check carefully we will transfer horizontal line at a distance of 49 I will cut by keeping at a point or c1 and then instead of that we will transfer this line to the center exactly Parallel to this line, we will be transferring it to the center. I am just extending it. And then parallel to this line from the center. Now, now the distance is 40. 40 will be converted into the scale 40 into 0.8164 so we will get 32.65 around 32 and 33 so take from the divider 32 and 33 in between to construct at the top we have to construct separately see here we will construct here separately a top face we have to take a 30 degree on either side so we will take 30 degree on either side here I will extend it and then forty millimeter is there, so forty into point eight one six four it is thirty two point six five. So we will take thirty two point six five. We'll cut on either side. Okay. 
and then from this intersection you cut here then we'll join all the points with thin line we'll join Now we got 32.658 divided by 2 to get the center 16.32. We'll take 16.32. Now We'll join these points. Now, with this center, this says radius. Just draw the arc. So instead of drawing the arc, now you can take the distances. You got the center here. So just draw the horizontal line. And also we got vertical line here. Now we take these distances and we'll transfer at the top. We'll take this distance at top will transfer on either side next from center top distance or bottom distance we have to take then by keeping at this point we'll transfer the top and bottom Now we just join these points. Now we have centers directly in draw the arc here and then by keeping at this point we'll draw one more arc and then just by joining these centers with thin line now we will take this as center we will draw the arc Then this says center, we we'll take now we will give the tangency for these two. Whatever whatever we have drawn inside this part and whatever the construction areas are there, all those are dash and this we have to make it dash because it is inside this is how we have to construct the custom of the cone 